Let me start. What's up? <laughs> okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and a bit of a Q&A session with my besto Sarah. Hey. Introduce yourself, Sarah. Hey guys, I'm Sez. Oh, sorry, I just like <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Sez. I'm originally from Brisbane in Australia. I've been living in Vancouver since Feb 2020. Uh, this is my festo sash. Yay! We're just chilling today. It's pretty big, cozy day. And we're here for we a We thought we'd do a little comparison. I know you guys really liked the Vancouver versus Melbourne. So we're going to do Vancouver versus Brisbane, where this lovely lady is from. Tell us a bit about Brizzy, where it is in Australia, so everyone gets a bit of an idea. Okay, so Brisbane's in Queensland, which if you're looking at like a map of Australia, it's like, I can't even do it, northeast. So like the top right. Yeah. Top right. It's above Sydney. It's above so Sydney. way, like how many, it's like three days drive from Melbourne. Actually. Yeah, I'd say so. It would stop. If you know where the Great Barrier Reef is, it's like down from that. It's the biggest, it's the capital in Queensland. It's a hustle in place. It's getting bigger. It's nowhere near as big as like Melbourne or Sydney, but it's getting there. And have you lived there your whole life? Yes, I grew up there. I grew up like an hour out of the city. I lived near the water. Um, and then I moved into the city when I went to uni. And yeah, lived there before I moved here. Alrighty, are you ready for the questions? Yes. Okay, let's get straight to it. So we're basically going to be comparing the two cities and yeah, seeing I guess which is, I don't know, better or worse in your eyes. Okay. Who has better weather, Brisbane or Vancouver? And look, why? if I could show you what it looks like outside right now, <laughs> it's not good. It's pretty, I feel like this one's a clear, clear one to say. Brisbane weather is definitely better. It's much more consistent, like, you just have blue skies almost all the time. There is a lot of, like, summer storms, but most of the time you're getting blue skies, even in winter. Blue skies, it only gets as low as, like, 11 degrees Celsius in winter. So, you can still get on with your life. Everyone still wears scarves because they think it's freezing. They're like, oh my god, it's so cold. But... But crazy winter. Melbourne tourists would probably go swimming in Yeah, winter. oh yeah, like people come on holidays to Brisbane and then go to the beaches. But yeah, overall Vancouver can be very rainy in winter, it gets very cold, it can get to like zero degrees in winter. I don't love the rain. I like skiing, so this, like the winter's cool, but overall I do miss Brisbane's like beautiful weather. In win like in summer it gets like way too hot, but overall, overall I'd still clear, choose it. Clear winter. The blue right. skies. You can't go you can't go past the blue skies. I know. It was literally the nicest day yesterday, and this is just so jarring to have the rain yeah, come. Yeah, so random, but not really. This is Ugh, a rain coomer. Who has a better nightlife? Look, Brisbane has a pretty good nightlife scene. There's a place called The Valley, and there's like, the it's Valley. like a big strip of clubs. There's a lot of like live music venues, so we have a lot of startup y like bands that do like festivals. So I feel like there's a lot happening in Brisbane nightlife. I remember some Germans I met, they came to Brisbane, they're like, let's go to the valley. They thought it was like so crazy that there was a bunch of like nightclubs all in one area, and I haven't really noticed that here. I did go to a few gigs last year, but it just wasn't the same. Like, it's not popping off in the same way. Even pre-COVID, like, I can vouch the nightlife from what I have experienced better in Australia as a whole. But I haven't partied in Brisbane, so I'll have you to You will have to I, when I you know. come. Oh the Valley, Valley Goes Rats. Off. If you're at the Valley every weekend, you call it a Valley Rat, and you're like, you love the Valley. I don't know. I'm not, like, valley huge rat. into going out <laughs> clubbing anymore, but gigs, like, there's a lot of, like, live music in Brisbane, a lot of Brizzy bands and things like that, so... Okay. I do miss that. Brisbane, ding! Yeah, it's looking good for Brisbane so I far. Know. I do love Vancouver, guys. Don't get me wrong. Okay. okay. <laughs> Who has like a better, healthy lifestyle? Like, which city would you have a better lifestyle in? Overall? I wouldn't say like Brisbane's unhealthy, but Vancouver. If anyone's ever visited here, probably you'd only experience it if you lived here. But like, everyone's active here, and so you kind of feel like you got to be active. Like, yeah, everyone like, owns a tent. Everyone's talking hobby about camping. Isn't hiking. Like. Yeah, like when you try to introduce yourself and you're like, "Hey, my name's Sarah. Like, I love hiking." Everyone's like, "Cool." Like, so do we. Like, everyone likes yeah, it. But everyone. if I go home and I'm like, "Hey, I'm Sarah. I like hiking." Everyone's gonna be like, whoa, like, yeah, where, where, where do you go, go hiking? Yeah, yeah. It's so, not a thing. It's people like, there's are people that are outdoorsy, but everyone it's in Vancouver though. is outdoorsy. Yeah. Like, everyone does it, and so you get in, into it, which I like. like big cycling community accessible. here, too. Yeah. Lots of cycling. Everyone has, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Vancouver calves are a thing. Everyone has amazing calves. Yeah. He's in the elevator, I saw someone. He really? had amazing calves. And I was like, everyone yeah. here has like amazing calves. Like, legs. Yeah, you might be confused what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm 
like bulging um, curls. Yeah, we're doing like, like little oh, curls. Yeah, they're like <laughs> moo. <laughs> No, but yeah, and there's a lot of accessible trails here as well. Like, yeah, you can you, you don't have even to go catch a bus. I haven't to get done the grass grind because my knees are dodgy. But there are so many other trails and hikes that I can do you can, with no experience. You, you can, can, yeah, you can do it with no experience. There's a lot of maps and there's a lot of there's a big like hiking community. Yeah, you can. And just, the parks are like the provincial the parks, parks are good. so nice. Yeah, there's a lot of good camping Amazing. here. Good cost for camping. Yeah, yeah, it's just more active like lifestyle here. I think. Yeah, a lot of like healthy food places here as well. There's still healthy food places at home, but it's like a big community. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, What's that, like, body it's weird if you aren't. Like, yeah. Drinks. Oh my God, like yeah. sweetie energy. drinks. Body energy club. Body energy club. That's not a thing at home. Shout out. Boost okay. juice though. Oh, boost. A booster juice? Not the same. Yeah, we have a boost juice in Australia and here they have booster booster, juice. Booster, but it's like not the same. It's not the same thing, guys. No. Who has better housing in terms of, I guess, bang for your buck? Like in terms of, I bang guess, the layout? Buck of apartments or houses are that like condos like Vancouver in Brisbane what's the housing situation like and which do you think's better I think I think overall like Brisbane's and probably a newer city so the actual buildings themselves are newer in Brisbane and even then like the cost is a more affordable in Brisbane. You can still pay like the same amount, but you would get more for what you're paying for in mm -hmm. Brisbane. Like you might get a two um, two bedroom place or like just like a more furnished, you could, you could even get a furnished place or just like, yeah, more renovated or closer to the city than you would here. So like compare your kits house price to something Well, 16 was, yeah, kits was 16.50, I think. And that included utilities. Um, and that's that, a basement, one bedroom. Basement, one bedroom with like a little den. So or I could get, in Vancouver. Yeah, or I could get like in Brisbane itself. I just had a look and there was one for like 1400 furnished in Brisbane city itself, which is like Brisbane, like the core of the downtown is larger. Um, and then the suburbs are kind of spill out. It's not as like, it's probably not as accessible as this downtown core is, but yeah, a place in the city was cheaper than out of the city here. So, yeah. and it was like nicer. I know Sydney and Melbourne has, well, Sydney's got really high rent. I've heard Sydney yeah, and Vancouver rent crazy. is more on par. Yeah, I would say so. So Brisbane's got more value for your money, I'd say. Good answer. And I'm looking forward okay. to that. Last one of these sort of <gasps> comparison questions. Which city overall is friendlier? Friendlier. I feel like, I don't know if I'm just biased, but I feel like Aussies are just friendly people. Like, so are mm. Canadians, but like, Vancouver's been known as a place where it's hard to make friends. We got here in the yeah. pandemic, so it was even harder. In Brisbane, like, everyone, like, your friends and they're all friends with your friends as well. And, like, you, you yeah. always run into people you know when people are really, like, chatty or say hi to you on the street. Vancouver's not as friendly, mm. I'd say. It's not as warm, I've found. Like, Canadians, if they're from different areas, I've found, but I really don't have any friends, like, from Vancouver. But, yeah, like, grew up here. People like, already have their yeah. friends and they just, like, roll with it. Where, like... At home, I I'm always was making new friends. Or people from like the east coast or something, if they yeah. are living here, yeah, because they're also like new to the city or yeah. I think regional areas of Canada, like people say hello like all the time. They're very like friendly and they want to say hi, but most of the time in the city, they're just looking at their phones, like they're trying to get somewhere, and they're just sort of like judge you a little bit. I feel like I don't know. I feel like there's a bit of like it's like nice but not genuine. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I know like when I've been like traveling around BC and Alberta and when we've been hiking, like everyone's so nice. Yeah, on the trails. I feel like it's just like the city maybe, like you said, like everyone's just got their own thing Over that they gotta it. do. Yeah. Like, so which one do you reckon overall? I think Brisbane would be more friendlier. Friendly. Everyone like, yeah, would introduce you to their friends and like put you in touch with people and yeah. invite you. Everyone's like way more like inclusive it's and invite like you to everything. It's kind of like relaxed as well, Brisbane, because of like the warmer temperatures and like lifestyle. Yeah, you can go do things outdoors a lot more I suppose because of the weather yeah you, you could go to a park any time of the year and just you know chatting. like yeah. in winter now it's coming into winter and back yeah how like, are you gonna hang out with your friends <laughs> unless you buy yeah. the over especially like last year with COVID it was the worst yeah, because, because you couldn't have anyone over and you house. couldn't meet for coffee because that was you closed you could go on walks but it's it was raining like raining every day I know crazy. so you couldn't go into coffee shops you just had to go for walks and so no one did that so no one hung out with anyone for like yeah. six months oh. alright to wrap up what don't you miss about Brisbane? Don't I miss? Uh, I don't know. Like, what don't I miss? Well, I miss a lot. Is that you're like, ugh, like, I wish that Brisbane Oh, had okay. The public it. transport in Brisbane's not very good. Yeah? Yeah, it's just slow and, like, always late. I feel like buses, buses actually come early here sometimes. Yeah, which is sometimes also they come annoying, too early. But, like, 
at least they're on time or early. Mm -hmm. I feel like, and it's more everything, the sky trains here are good. Where in Brisbane, I don't think the public transport's really up to par. Like it's very. What do you light. have? Just buses? Or we is have it buses trains? and there's trains. trains we live out okay. in the suburbs. But yeah, they're never like, they, they're often late. Okay. So that's annoying. Uh, what else do I miss? I mean, there's a lot of traffic getting into the downtown. It can be like that here too, though. Mm. But we don't own a car here, so it doesn't really affect us too much. Um, I don't know. I miss it because it's my home. So. Yeah. Well, it's hard to say what I don't miss. What won't you miss about Vancouver when you leave? Apart from the weather, because that's easy. The wages. <laughs> like, we get paid so much more in Australia. I did like having benefits in like included in yeah, Vancouver. Yeah, benefits. I mean, that's I a big difference. Benefits, but yeah, it's a thing. A lot of know. jobs here, you would get like health insurance, where in Australia, you have to pay for your own private health insurance. It has nothing to do with your workplace. So yeah, that is it's a such big a thing here. Is that I don't know if that's in BC or around. I think Canada, it's an American, Florida. North American thing. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. It's definitely not in. America, the health insurance. Of course, yeah. So it must yeah. be a Canadian thing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to like better wages in Australia and like adding to my superannuation again because like it means nothing to me here. Like pension plan yeah. and all that doesn't mean anything to me here. So when we retire, every every paycheck that we've gotten since we started work in Australia, a little bit, a little percentage of every single paycheck goes into our superannuation fund and then we get to access that um, when we're over 65, I think. My last employees put 17% into my superannuation of my salary, which is crazy. So yeah, but I'm don't really miss it wages. because you get paid so well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the monies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cash what will I, won't I miss about Vancouver? Yeah, we already said the weather, like not as many friendly people. I don't yeah. know how to put that, but like I won't miss the like there's lack of warmth. The lack of warmth, yeah. That, not to say everyone's like that, but just I talk to yeah. a lot more people in Brisbane. I think yeah. like when it, when you're just going about your day, like you just I strike honestly, up if anyone knows how to make friends, let us know. It sucks. I love making friends. Um, what will you miss about Vancouver? Oh, I'll miss the mountains, like and the sea, like where Vancouver is. If anyone's been here, it's just so scenic like there's yeah. a bunch of like this is ocean and there's mountains everywhere and when we were in winter we used to ski at like three different mountains just living in the city which is pretty unheard of there's not a lot of cities like that yeah there's like so much to do yeah drive yeah. there's so much to do here we really like have our own like love of the outdoors living here so mm -hmm. we're really gonna miss like the accessibility of nature and we'll miss you guys don't want to talk about it. <laughs> don't even mention it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I miss our friends, miss the lifestyle, the, the active lifestyle. And because it's been like a working holiday, we've we've always made the most of like every weekend. So I think I'll miss that too. But I'm just going to take that attitude home with me. What can't you wait for when you go back to Brisbane? Apart from friends and family. What oh, I was like, like, my friends and family. Oh, like, what are you... <laughs> okay, city-wise. Like, just overall. I'm keen like, to go to like city? music again. Because obviously, like, if... COVID's been a huge hindrance as well, but like, there's not a lot of like, there's not as many Aussie artists playing music here. We're like, all the small bands that we love at home, we'll be playing at home when we yeah. get home, and like, festivals, um, just like sunny weather. Festivals are really big back in Australia. Big you guys festivals. Like music festivals. It's a big music scene. Yeah, especially on. down at Byron Bay. I love the festies. Really excited for, I don't know, like a Bunnings snack. Anybody? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. So like Bunnings is like Home Depot, but better. I don't know how it's yeah. better, but it just is. And then like there's Mixed always like, like a... Canadian Tire as well. Of, and then you've Canadian got... Tire. Me too. But then yeah. you get like a sausage sizzle. Yeah, out the front there's always like a charity selling sausages on bread to get money for whatever charity it is. Yeah. And the sausage, it's just like, the, the it's just so good. Elliot it's literally a piece it like, of bread. It's like a breakfast sausage here. Like that's the closest But like longer. And you just have like a white piece of bread in a triangle and you hold like a sausage and bread and you can put like mustard or tomato sauce or Oh my like god, I want that so onions. bad now. And then the two dollars goes towards a charity and you feel like good and you're eating a It's just a like sausage. random it's things like this that make me want to yeah. go home. Like just yeah. really I even think sometimes random like things. the random like ads on TV make me miss nostalgic or yeah. whatever. I'm like, oh like even radio or like just events and stuff. Even like Sasha put on some um, vloggers that she watched and they had Aussie accents. And I was like, even just like words the they accents, were saying. The accents, yeah. I'm like, Not mm. having to explain what Arvo is. Yeah, or like so people obvious. just don't understand me. I'm just like, I just make a lot of jokes. <laughs> Sarcasm, you know what? Okay, Sarcasm. Just, let's just yeah. go in a final thing. A lot of people here, I've noticed, 
will make it like Canadians will make a joke and then they'll apologize after making the joke. Yes. Even like they'll be like, oh, oh my god, god. you look so silly. <laughs> I'm just joking, even though like I know they're and, joking. And like straight away they'll say there's no like pause for effect. Yeah. It's like, oh no, I'm so sorry, I'm joking. It's like just commit to the yeah. joke. Elliot's then, good because Elliot knows yeah, he, he gets can, it. he'll say stuff and he doesn't have to like be like, I'm so sorry, like I'm just joking. But I'll do it at work now or with people like customers or whatever because they just think I'm being like rude. So I'll be like, oh my god, it's just a joke, just a joke. don't worry about it. And they're like, yeah. just don't understand. I miss the understand. banter. There's so I'm looking banter. forward to the Aussie banter, yeah. the Aussie slang. People just getting, getting me. Oh, well thanks. Thanks so much for having this little chat, little no sit worries. down chat Anytime. about Brizzy in Vancouver. But let everyone know if they can find you on uh, TikTok. Oh yeah, I've got a I'm really... growing my TikTok. It's great. It's called Sarah Gallivants. It's all about where I gallivant to um, and what I get up to. So yeah. give me a follow. Um, I'll pop it on the screen and in the description. So, yay! <laughs> what do you do? Like, woo! Oh, thank yeah. you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Really supports my channel. And hit subscribe and maybe send it to a friend because you don't know if any friends uh, from Brisbane or Vancouver want to live at the other city. This might be a nice little eye opener. And you can always, yeah, hit up Sarah in the DMs on TikTok or Instagram if you have any questions about either city even in the comments pop them down and we'll reply to them thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and see you in my next video bye, bye.